Hello everybody, my name is Elliot and I'm from hahagan.com. Today we're going to talk about the pennywort plant, also known as go to cola. Now, the pennywort plant is a perennial um, herb. It's, it, is, it originates in moist areas. The pennywort plant is helpful in detoxifying and its natural um, cool effect helps you calm down. The pennywort has a, a mixture of bitter and sweet and it is most commonly consumed as a healthy drink. It is also a tonic. It is also an antiseptic, so it helps with, uh, with diarrhea, blood vomiting, um, scars, rashes, and enhances memory, uh, memory. The pennywort has several important elements such as iron, zinc, calcium, vitamin B, 1, 2, 3, vitamin C, vitamin K, and many more. I'm sure you've heard of the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, in this case, it's actually two leaves a day keeps the old age away. People used to grind up the pennywort leaves so that they have like a powder and they put that powder on their ulcers and on, the, on, your, on their wounds for effective results. Disclaimer, before you use this plant for medicinal uses, make sure you do your own research or talk to your doctor because one article says that this plant is bad for your liver while another while another article will say oh it's actually good for you so make sure you do your own research or you talk to your doctor about what's best for you all right so if you look over here 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 are here is the pennywort um, plant you can see the leaves are beautiful round shape which is why they're called penny pennywort because they, the the leaves are kind of like penny shaped right now the bigger the pot, the bigger the leaves are. So you can see this is like a medium sized pot and therefore the leaves are like medium sized. While over here, this pot is a lot smaller and has smaller leaves, but it still looks cute. So that's that. Now, when we move to this humongous pot, you can see the, the leaves are much bigger, especially this huge one. It's so big. We got this one from the ground and it's still alive. It's actually really big. It's like the size of my palm here. Now, over here, if you go, if you look next to this big um, leaf, leaf, you can see there's a lot of tiny white flowers, which are adorable. The pennywort, just like the mint plants and the money and the money plants, are are quite long. They can curl up a lot, as you can see here. They're all quite long, and they'll curl around your 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 pot around and around, which is exactly why they're very invasive. So make sure you put a barrier or like keep it in a pot because if you keep it in the ground, it will spread like wildfire. It's propagation time. Whoa. Okay. So as you can see here. If there's no more space in a pot, you will see some um, leaves like um, grow outwards. So if you want, if you want to propagate, you can see if there's any like um, roots growing here. But there's no roots like growing here, so you will need to like um, pluck this out and like take the roots from the ground. So if you if you have a branch, if you have a branch like this where only one side has roots, then what you can then what you can do like over like over here is only here has roots so if only here has roots what you can do is you can roll it up like a piece of string right just roll it up and then like make sure all of the leaves point upwards yeah all of the leaves point upwards then you can just set it onto the um, pot here right and then make sure the pot is not completely full so that you have space to put this in then you can just take the sole and cover it Right. Or you can, or if you're lucky enough to find this, where like all of the leaves have a little bit of roots, you can just cut it. Right. Okay. You can just kind of cut it. Here should be okay. So you can okay, just cut there. Then let me cut right here. And then uh, here should be okay, right? Right. Boom. Right. You can just cut those. 
and then just put it into the soil like normal. And so what you can do is just take the pot and like make a little hole for it. Make sure that the leaves are facing upwards like last time. Put in and then you're basically done. Okay, so here I want to put it like this. Now just pour in some soil so that we can cover the, um, the roots. Make sure you don't accidentally cover the um, leaves. Let's see if we can shake it a little. Okay. Some more. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm just gonna try and like make it level so that it can. All right, that should be okay. Let me just try to rescue this little guy. There. Okay, here we go. Okay, that should be done. So you can use any type of gardening soil you like. So let me take this. Don't, please don't fall. Alright, I'm just gonna put that there. Now, time to water it. We, and that should be enough. All right, there we go. Oh, there. Okay, so you can use any garden soil now. This one here, we've only had it for like a week and you can see the baby leaves are growing quite nicely actually. Anyways, I think this is it for today's video. I hope you learned something and please subscribe, leave a like. Thank you. Goodbye.